You are watching a murder unfold. You know who the murderer is. Mm -hmm. But then you also get the joy of coming in through Charlie Kale's eyes and seeing her figure it out. This show is incredible. I absolutely Aww. love it. It's so good. It keep I mean it keeps me it keeps me on the edge of my seat trying to unsolve the mysteries with Charlie every step <laughs> of the way for that hour long duration and I, yeah. and I just can't get enough of the show. Um you guys have worked on a ton of incredible shows like Fringe, Haven, Suits, Agents of Shield, Prodigal Son. What attracted you guys to Poker Face and how did you guys get involved with with Poker Face? Well, I have to tell you when we read this pilot script, like I had to take a minute. I was emotionally invested <laughs> in a way that I haven't felt about a show in a very long time. I absolutely fell in love with the character of Charlie Kale, but also Ryan is just a master storyteller and he's like the king of mystery. And I have a great great love for um, old school case of the week murder mysteries. And I was like, oh my God, he's doing it. He's bringing it back. Um, please let me ride shotgun. Mm -hmm. I need to be a part <laughs> of this ride. Um, and and when we when we met Ryan, it was kind of like I described as like the first first date that was just like the best date ever. We we had the same vision. We 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 shared um, the same passions. Yeah. And and we just kind of knew, like, okay, this is a partnership. We're going to do this thing. It, it absolutely was like the the job, the the one job we really wanted. You know, like <laughs> we're we're up for other stuff. And we're like, oh, we're not interested. We'll just hang out for a little while. And then this came along. And we're like, yes, yes this yes. is it. Um, it it was. It's the the thing that Ryan has an ability to do is like at least in my mind, write the thing that you wish you had written, you know, mm -hmm. like, we're like, oh man, like I remember even seeing Brick, you know, in theaters and going like, man, I wish I wrote that movie. You know, <laughs> you don't feel that all the time. Um, so working with him was like, obviously a, a huge plus, but we just loved the story too. So. Yeah. I hope I'm not dating myself here because this feels like a successor to Columbo. Um, how do you guys think the audiences will connect with this style of mystery? Because I love the way the show unfolds. Well, I think that was the fun challenge is that this is not a whodunit. Right. Um, this is a how catch em. And so the first act of Poker Face, you are watching a murder unfold. You know who the murderer is. Mm -hmm. But then you also get the joy of coming in through Charlie Kale's eyes and seeing her figure it out. And um, that was the fun part as writers. We're like, how are we going to hook people in when they already know mm -hmm. who the villain is? And then the joy of the show is watching her mind work, her unpuzzle these uh, really intricate crimes, and then also how she's going to get justice because she's not a cop, right? She can't uh, take them down to the station. And so how is she going to get her poetic justice at the end of every episode is like a, a really fun challenge too. You know, this show also does such an incredible job of making you care about the victims in such a short amount of time. Um, <laughs> talk to me about the, the, the creativity on the writing process uh, for this show and just breaking it down. It's really tough because, you know, other shows you can rely on like, oh, we know what that character went through last week. And now they're dealing with the, fall, you know, the fallout of that and stuff. And instead, it's like it's really only Charlie. So you really have to hook into these new characters right away. Um, and so, yeah, making your heart break when that victim dies is something that that we really focused on. And also, you know, sometimes maybe even rooting for the bad guy a little yes. bit because, <laughs> because they have thought it through so hard and they really are trying to get away with it. And so there's sometimes when Charlie and the and, you know, the villain are circling each other that you're kind of not sure quite who you're rooting for, but you're enjoying the ride anyways. But but it's complicated and it was hard to come up with. So if somebody in the room like had the greatest the solution, you you felt like high. You were like, oh, my God. I'm, yes, yes, yeah. yes. That's it. You know, like the retirement community center. I would have never have thought I would have been. <laughs> Uh, that, that episode was so intense and it was like the biggest physical challenge for Charlie. It was crazy. But yeah. uh, I do have to ask this because, uh, look, uh, Natasha is brilliant. Uh, can you talk about collaborating with her and Ryan on the show? What's lovely about um, Natasha's character is that Ryan created the role of Charlie Kale specifically for her. And so uh, a lot of it is just like Natasha's 
um, natural exuberance, her her energy. But what I like about Charlie Kale too is unlike some of the other roles that she's played, like Charlie Kale is a people person. Yes. You know, she's smiley, she's laid back, she's like fun to hang out with. She connects with people. And I think that, that you know, everybody um, talks about how she can tell people are lying. But I think her superpower is that she loves people. Yeah. And so you also will fall in love with these characters because you're approaching mm-hmm. them through Charlie's eyes. Um, and and so when we were on set, when we were in the writer's room, that was always kind of like our way into all of these stories, how Charlie is connecting. And um, and, and and that, I think, is is something that's really special mm-hmm. about her. And she's. She's not a cynic, you know, she knows people are lying to her every day, even about tiny, weird things. And, and you know, probably for any of us, it would make us hate humanity, you know, yeah. right. <laughs> and she loves it. And I think that that's it's like very aspirational, you know, I, th- I, well, I think we all wish we had that in us, you know. Nora, Lilla, thank you guys so much for your time. The show is incredible. I can't wait for them to send me the the, the last four episodes. I can't wait to watch it. They're, uh, it's they're awesome. They're, they're doozy. Yeah, I'm excited <laughs> for you to see them. Thank you guys so much for your time. I appreciate it.